Okay, things are bad, folks. Things are bad <laughs> in the always. world. Um, we like reporting on climate change on the Fowler Show, and things are just getting really bad. I mean, this is honestly gonna be a situation, I'm calling it now, where 50 years from now, we're gonna be like, oh my God, we are so screwed. Why do we do this? So, more bad news, unexpectedly, a widespread melting of the permafrost, which you probably learned about in high school in one of your science classes, could set off a greenhouse gas time bomb. Now, believe it or not, one of the largest sources for carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases, including methane, is in fact the world's permafrost. It is a layer of wet soil that is permanently frozen that exists around the upper ring of the Earth, close to uh, the Arctic area. Now, what's been happening is that the permafrost is melting at a rate that has really not been seen. I mean, basically we always rely on this permafrost to trap a lot of these greenhouse gases that, con that contribute to global warming. Now we're in a situation where scientists are like, oh my God, the permafrost is melting. And that is really bad because you're basically releasing stores of these greenhouse gases that have been dormant for centuries that are now gonna be up in the atmosphere and meanwhile, like we're already just doing whatever we want and, you know, dumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere from our cars. What do you think, Tamara? Are we screwed? Yes. I feel so bad for these scientists. Can you imagine like going to work every day and seeing all of this information yep. and then just going home and being like, I can't do anything about it. Yeah. And guess what? No one cares. And we're all going to kill the earth and that's the end of it yeah i mean i don't know what we're really going to do here uh the fact that people are still willing to deny that this is happening i mean are just terrible people like yeah. really like do you honestly not care at all this actually is super frustrating because it all ties into politics guess what yeah. guess who thanks america is the overriding source of and the thing is, okay, so in a lot of countries across the world, people are not emitting the type of greenhouse gases or waste that we are using in America and other countries that are super developed. Yeah. And so there's like not that many other people to take the blame for it. A large percent of these people are in the United States, including myself. I emit greenhouse gases all the time. And guess what? Like there's no guess what? rule Tamara doesn't against, care. there's no rule against me not doing that, which keeps me from, or makes me continue to do that. So unless someone makes a law against something or changes the way we interact with the environment, then guess what? Nothing's going to happen. Yep. Except for the end of the earth being Relatively livable. Soon. Relatively soon, unless we figure it out. All right, folks, let me know what you think in the comments below.